In this problem, we have two masses in an elastic collision. Mass 1 is moving with an initial velocity of 0.50 meters per second when it collides with a stationary mass 2, setting it in motion. Mass 1 will recoil backwards and mass 2 will be propelled forward. We don't know either of the two velocities after the collision. Here is the given data for the problem. The first velocity after the collision we will solve for is the velocity of the smaller mass, V1. Using both the law of conservation of energy and the law of conservation of momentum, the equation to find the individual velocities of an object after an elastic collision is derived. If you would like to see how to get this equation, refer to the textbook. We will use this equation in substituting the appropriate values to solve for our unknown velocity, V1. Here is the equation that we will use. Remember that V2 naught equals zero, so the portion of the equation after the addition sign is eliminated, leaving us with the simplified form of our equation. We can now plug in our values. Here is our equation with the substituted values. We can now solve for V1. Here is our answer for V1. Note that it is in the opposite direction from the original motion. Next we will use our given data to solve for V2. To do this we will use the equation that was derived for elastic collisions to find the velocity of the second object. Here is the equation that we will use. V2 naught equals zero so we can eliminate the part of the equation to the right of the subtraction sign. After substituting in our values, we can find V2. Here is our answer for V2.